Hi sis, welcome to Fab Chic Matters. How are you doing? My name is Doris and here we talk everything fashion, how to look fabulous, chic, sophisticated, edgy on a budget while being modest at the same time. So if this is your first time, welcome and I hope that you consider subscribing to this channel, joining this family and if this is not your first time sis, I appreciate your support and thank you, thank you so much for supporting me and I hope that you have subscribed already. <laughs> So what's going on today? Um, if you have seen my previous um, videos about kind of like purging slash revisiting uh, my clothes and see what I actually have in my closet, kind of like taking inventory. So today is going to be the continuation of um, the dresses portion. So today is going to be more of the kimonos, abayas, you know, dusters and uh, stuff like that. So it's going to be about this portion of my closet. And uh, for this portion, sis, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be <laughs> purging anything because I love my kimonos. This is my style. I love layering. And even during the spring and summer, I still layer because I have like some very light material like um, dusters and cardigans and not cardigans, like abayas and kimonos and such. So I still love to layer even when it's warmer outside. So we shall see what we have. And if it's anything that really doesn't fit my fancy anymore, I will get rid of it. I'm trying to be ruthless, although it's not easy, but you know, we're trying. <laughs> Before I um, start, I am just wearing a dress by Walmart that I bought years ago on sale, like four years ago on sale for like $5, I believe. And I just love it. Animal print is just me. It's just beautiful. I love like baby doll style dresses like this. And this is so versatile. And I actually made a video here on like four ways to style up um, this dress. And I wore this with some um, denim, black denim pants with a flowy white skirt with um, a, like a pencil style, kind of like brown skirt. So I had so much fun um, styling up this little simple dress like this and I'll insert also the picture so you can see you can have a visual and this is what I'm wearing then I'm just wearing my pair of like um, a little bit flared at the bottom Zara track pants that I bought years ago as well and you know I'm all into the brown on brown on brown <laughs> and I just love love this kind of like casual but at the same time interesting and what else? Um, my jewelry. This is by Zara. I just love, you know, costume jewelry like this. This is so fun. Such a fun necklace. It's like a choker, kind of like zipper situation. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I think this is sold out. But if I find it, I'll include the link in the description box as well. It's kind of funky and kind of like, you know, fun jewelry I like to wear. And then this beautiful um, ring is by Ofure. I just love like the dome shape and how it hops. Love it, love it, love it. And yeah, um, hat thrifted probably. My beret hat, I probably thrifted. And all this assortment of earrings and uh, ear caps by Zara. I just love the golden color on my skin tone and that's about it now let's start with the purge before i start let me just mention i'm going to speak much louder today because i couldn't find my lapel mic don't know where it is <laughs> i was like okay i need to film something for the girlies for the sis and the show must go on so i'm trying to speak louder today because you know i can speak kind of softly i'm trying to speak louder so you can still understand better uh, you can still hear me out better okay so we actually stopped right here somewhere here okay and um this is actually what i thrifted recently here you see too if you have seen it before and this oh look at that Look at that layering, sis. Come on now. Come on now. I love vivid colors, bright colors, bold colors. So I'm all for it. And this is the kimono that I bought recently. Not recently. I bought years ago. I just never started for this um, channel. And by Midas Giraffe. And loving this kimono. You guys loved it so, so much. And uh, I'll insert the 
short so in case you haven't seen it you see how i size it smaller start with um, this dress oh i think i talked about it recently this is a shein dress that i thrifted i love to thrift a lot of uh, dresses and tops you know some of them are good quality so the damage has been done already sis i see it at the thrift store i buy it if i like it if the quality is suitable so um shein and it's got pocket i love loose fitting clothes like this very like um boho kind of vibes like what i'm wearing right now and for such a piece it's like a blank canvas like i like to say because i can add anything over it you can even add a blazer and you know you dress up all of a sudden you can add um, a, a kimono a cardigan you can add um, a vest over it you can wear it by itself of course <laughs> so this is very versatile and of course the layers of necklaces and jewelry that you can add to it i mean you can make it fabulous this is actually a long duster that i bought from shein and i used to buy a lot of those pieces from shein directly from shein like seven eight years ago and this is where i collected most of them because i really liked the style of like the dubai ladies you know very covered up very elegant at the same time and it's crazy to me how sometimes when you see like somebody who is fully covered up they look sexier i mean let me know that in the comments is what you think i feel like they exude elegance and mystery and they look sexier so they're not exposing anything but they just look beautiful and i just love this aesthetic so much and i started looking up where to buy those long dusters that i was seeing those ladies wearing and lo and behold Shein apparently is like you know has a lot of those pieces in the inventory on the website and i started buying them so what i loved about this one is like the mix between the black and the cream and i just love the different accent and that kind of like geometric shape of the squares also is very long i am five seven five seven and a half it's very long and it's so flowy definitely so elegant i love the cuffs and the thing is you can see them wearing this even in the dead of summer because it's very you know easy breezy very airy and they love to wear like easy breezy um <laughs> easy breezy <laughs> easy breezy cover girl you know they just love to wear like very light dresses like this you know underneath it as well so that's why they can actually you know be comfortable despite the heat and sis i think this is so gorgeous let me just do this so we can have like an overview about how it looks do you see that and i see myself wearing like a long pearl like necklace or something very like you know um like a statement necklace to add to the mix oh, and my big scarf my big black scarf or something cream or a mix of cream and black and your nice like black palms or your wedges and spadrilles your cute black clutch or just your regular like bag hold on i have something here that is small okay hold on. that this is a mark by mark jacobs bag that i thrifted look at this your nice big sunglasses very elegant very edgy or you add oh look at look how perfect everything looks together this is a nine west bag the colors are just beautiful oh. i hope that you kind of see my vision for it sis i'm telling you everybody i'm telling you everybody we look at you like wow beautiful elegant and it's so funny because when i dressed like this 
the amount of older folks <laughs> i live in florida so like more mature people who come up to me i don't care if it's a grocery store i don't care if it's a church at the park anywhere the restaurant you look beautiful elegant i'm like thank you thank you <laughs> so i'm telling you try kind of like to cover up in a way that is so majestic and the flowiness of it when you're walking it's like you you're just grazing the floor you know just floating <laughs> okay so this is another kind of like duster that i thrifted by alfani this is the plus size now like i said i actually buy from every size this is 2x 3x and it fits me perfectly i wore this here years ago with a white dress and I love the mixing of it, you know, between the navy blue and uh, the white dress, the white simple dress. So that's why I really don't turn my nose up on like simple dresses, plain dresses, because this is where the magic happens. This is where you can really play with fashion and adding so many different interesting pieces to create a very distinctive look. Now we have, um, oh yes, I love this color. We have like a poncho cardigan situation here this is like a knitwear so i should actually put it in the knitwear i would put it up put it there i live in southwest florida so you know our winter is very short it's not even a real real winter and so um that's why i don't really get to play a lot with my knitwear or my turtlenecks and stuff like that but i still made a video you can go and check it out when i was revisiting revisiting no revisiting right <laughs> when i was revisiting um my bands that have uh, all of my coats my pullover sweaters and stuff like that because i keep them in bands i don't really have to wear them here in southwest florida um because i used to live in texas so that's why i accumulated most of my coats and i don't want to get rid of most of them are you kidding me <laughs> oh this is such a cute duster as well i love the high slit I bought it from Goodwill, I believe. This is Bolero, size XS. And uh, the thing is, I wonder if it's going to fit me still. Let me try it on right now. Let's see, why not? So such things is this. You can literally wear this over anything. I'm going to show you how it looks like. So you can have a better idea. Okay, I still have enough space in the armpits to actually move freely so what do you think i don't have a mirror in front of me right now but i feel like i have so many different like um, knitwear like cardigans like that i don't need it and also like a styling tip says you can always belt it to create like a different um, look with for some simple pieces like this you can wear like a, as you see like a button down shirt underneath it you can wear a turtleneck you can wear a sweater so those are very versatile i love you know how flowy they are and you know anything that is cream tone like camel cream off white is definitely a neutral because it goes with so many different things oh, love the slits the high slits so I'm going to put it on the side. I'm going to check it out on myself later in front of a mirror. And I'm going to see if my mom wants it. But I feel like I have a lot of those. And I haven't reached out to this one in a while. Oh, I actually collect those. You know. You know. I love wearing a lot of like ethnic cultural wear. If that's your first time here, just so you know and uh, i love wearing anything that has to do with culture for me honestly i feel like if i'm making a video for example i will if i know this garment or this piece of clothing is, is found in you know this this country or that country for example but i feel like the whole debate right now about cultural appropriation sometimes for me it doesn't make sense i feel like if I like something from your culture and actually wear it, not as a way to mock your culture, but I actually love it so much, I'm like, this is fabulous, I want to wear it. I feel like it's a form of compliment, right? Like, I wouldn't mind if somebody, I don't know, somebody Caucasian will wear like a nice Ankara 
you know set or whatever i'm like this is fabulous on you if you love it go for it you know we have a lot of tourists going to africa who love like he our headwear and you can see them like even if they go back into the villages and uh, kind of like to absorb the culture the daily life and you know i think it is beautiful you know i feel like this is what will bring us together so for me since i wear anything i wear indian <laughs> clothes because i love to thrift i i wear african i wear asian i wear middle eastern i wear anything this reminded me also of my culture because a big part of my of our population is muslim and my mom's family is actually muslim so when i see like the long like caftans and i have uncles who dress like this and for me it's an odd to my culture i seek to understand people um, no matter where they come from and I think this is what you know life is about this is what real growth is about and so I wear anything <laughs> I wear anything if I like it so this is lovely I love those captains and this is like very very white as you can see and uh, I cannot tell you the name of the uh, designer or who made it because it's written Arabic here but this I love this it's not everybody's cup of tea but for me this is my culture so i am all for it because still i love to wear something over it like you know by now layering 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 <laughs> and this is going to be more about layering because this is the layering section of my wardrobe and then i have another one like this that i thrifted and i believe this is more like Indian style because of the style of embroidery and I actually never wore this ethnic fashion wear Yes, I think this is more Indian style and I love wearing stuff like that with like a wide leg pair of pants or some denim Yes, you can dress it down for real. You can wear it by itself and this is also appropriate for vacation picture it you're going to some resort you're going somewhere very chic or just you know you're just going somewhere <laughs> and you wear like your slides you wear like your cute ballet flats and you know you're just cruising enjoying your vacation and whatnot so i like this kind of like you know very easy pieces to put on and you can still elevate it i believe this is where this is like the secret of fashion how to use one simple piece and still elevate it and make it also practical to any environment where you are you know to the setting because you know you can still add pieces and transform it and this is so fun that's why I love styling so so much and what do we have here oh I remember this dress hold on where did I buy this from I can see it I did not thrift this oh, this caftan is everything this caftan this is so Dubai ladies come on now <laughs> this color is beautiful and the sequence oh, yes 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 this is so cute uh, with some nice pumps some stilettos with like a cute clutch like I showed you before sis you look so glamorous this is actually a nice option as well if you invite it to a gala for example and you're not really fond like of a bodycon dress and you want to wear something more flowy but still look glam and fabulous i believe this is such a nice alternative and sis the sleeves over here i love those bat sleeves they're just so beautiful you look so majestic i don't know which store online did i buy this from but this is definitely staying gorgeous next up we have another like um captain situation which i never wore because i still have the <laughs> price tag here 7.99 made in india i love everything that is embroidered honestly i think i love the craftsmanship it's such an interesting detail i'm going to make a point to wear this soon maybe this maybe this Sunday for church and I can add some leg, you know I can add some wide leg pants underneath it or like some flowy pants when I talk about flowy pants let me give you an example anyways you see what I mean you see that kind of fabric I have some pants like this 
I have some black, some black and brown versions which I like to wear under like kimonos and such. And this one is perfect because of the, look at the accents here, the blue accents going with the skirt. Oh yes, okay. I found my Sunday outfit. Next up, we have another caftan, like I told you. I gravitate towards them every time I see them in the thrift store, so that's not even up for debate. And uh, this is another caftan which I thrifted. This is triple XL. Talk about <laughs> thrifting all sizes, and yes, I like it. I wore this here years ago. Okay, next up. Oh, yes. This is so me right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is another like caftan kind of dress. And this is so cute. Let me know down in the comments if you kind of know what maybe what country maybe this is um, from. I, I would think like India. What do you think? India. I don't know. Mongolia. I don't. Hmm. I don't know. But I just love the color blocking i love the details i love the prints you know me and princess look at the bottom look at the hem of this dress isn't that fabulous and i love the flats here um making look like it's like a kimono on top of a dress and then look at this with different layers i mean this is me right there i don't have to layer this dress has been layered just for me <laughs> I think it still fits me. Hmm. Oh, I love this. Let me get closer so you can see. Like a tassel like kind of ornament here. And then they added this like a metal detail here. Very nice. And size L. And I also love um, the different pearls here, the stitching. Oh, wow. That's very intricate. I really, really like it, of course. So I am. Um, oh, look at that. Look at the movement. Do you see the movement? Oh, you know, I am international. I think this is what you see out of this this section here. I am international. I just love anything that is like cultural, ethnic, different, you know, original. So um, authentic. So I am definitely going to try this on. Hopefully it still fits. Hopefully it still fits. I can see my mom wearing this as well. So I'm going to put it inside here and try this on to make sure it fits first before I put it back here. Ooh, another caftan situation. I told you, I told you. But sis, do you want to see, look at that. Look at this pointy asymmetric sleeve. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, this satiny fabric is everything everything all the way to the back so the zipper also goes all the way to the back so you can actually wear this open as well <gasps> all of a sudden you have a world of options on how to wear this oh, you, do you see the movement of it yes thrifted it i believe when i find pieces like this at thrift stores they're going to be there because most people will be kind of intimidated to wear it if it's not from their own culture. But for me, I'm like, yes, my mom gave it to me, but it's a Moroccan friend who gave it to her. So this is from Morocco. Ah, oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at this pink. Look at this pink. Anything embroidery. Look at both sides, like rhinestones. Beautiful. And with the Hood. I mean, it's like a gelada. I think that's how they call it. This is also made in Morocco, I believe. And I think my mom brought it over years ago. And um, I wore this already. Like, not here on this channel. I don't believe so. But I wore this in town a long time ago. I need to start wearing this more and more. yes isn't that beautiful let me get closer just let me get closer so you can appreciate the bling look at this bling look at the gorgeousness of this of this piece 
you don't need to do too much with necklace you you already blinged out you done you good <laughs> just put maybe like a bracelet some rings and you're good to go your bag and that's it that's it sis don't overdo it even for me i wouldn't overdo it such a piece because it's just so fabulous i don't want to take anything away from it and i wore this for like a mini photo shoot back in the day <laughs> back in the day as in maybe five years ago and uh i really wanted to play and have fun with it i believe i wore like a scarf and i really dolled up myself that day and i just love the finished product and yeah this is the dress i wore for this now let's talk about another captain dress this is a more like um, modern piece by grass fields and the company is actually back belonging to the sister so they want the company back again so they're about to start production i cannot wait to see all the fabulous pieces that they're going to be producing soon and making it available for purchase and i like this um simple plain version this one is also red but you know it's already blinged out so when i saw this i'm like oh i can add my own jewelry to it and i like to buy the pieces especially when they were on sale and uh, this is fabulous love it love that next up we have like a cardigan thing you know me in anything ethnic like i said and i love anything like Ankara, batik and uh let me show you close enough and of course this is like an african print which i love and the brand is erica brooke collection this is vintage and this is so cute so i'm definitely wearing that i'm definitely keeping that okay so this is a uh, a duster i bought not long ago like two years ago or something i thrifted it and uh, let me put it on so you can have a better visual one thing though i'll i'll make sure i don't do is buying clothes with um writings that i cannot read because i don't know what it says that's not good it, it doesn't mean it's something bad but you know just to be on the safe side and i'm not sure what it says here do you see so if you speak that language sis let me know what it means hopefully <laughs> i know what i'm wearing but i haven't worn this in a long time and i wonder if i'm attracted to it you see what i mean so this is something i am going to keep on the side and try on later and if i really don't see myself really gravitating toward it i am going to get rid of it you know purge give it to people or whatever so now next up we have ooh, this is a very nice kimono um, a baya type of um, duster and this is by Target Universal Threads and uh, I actually I think I bought it at Target actually I was like this is so different it was very like Asian I just love the understated print it was very different for Target and I was like wow this is very original and I'm definitely going to keep this. You can literally dress this down or wear it in a more casual way, like streetwear style, even with some camo pants. Um, you can wear some jeans. So play with pieces like this if you know when you find them because those are very versatile. They add more coverage. If you don't necessarily want to wear something sleeveless, this is what I wear over my dresses, my sleeveless dresses or my sleeveless like tops and body suits and whatnot so try these pieces i love that they have pockets as well and now we have this polka dot number here i love me like a nice mix of black and white and this i thrifted um yeah no boundaries no boundaries is walmart right and i thrifted it or maybe i bought it from walmart i'm not sure and i'm definitely going to keep this because i see myself wearing this with like a white t-shirt and uh, some linen pants for example yeah summertime it is perfect i mean i'm keeping this next up 
we have this that apparently I never wore oh my goodness that's why I love this series because it helps me to actually see my clothes if you see what I mean I actually see what I have and if I'm trying to actually get dressed to get out I know oh I have this and that that you know I haven't worn in a while that I can incorporate in my looks and uh, this is very fabulous actually not sure which store I got this from but isn't that it's very long I love that light gray color and let me see yes oh this is very nice okay so one also one tip also that um, I wanted to share with you usually I have some like somebody come dresses I keep it because I love layering right so I still have like tons of dresses like this like long sleeveless jersey dresses like this which I keep in multiple colors because of layering so if you have such a piece and you still want to you know to cover up because I mean those dresses are not forgiving let me tell you if you know anything about it and honestly <laughs> You got to dress strategically. You you need to know your own body, right? And you have to be comfortable also with what you wear outside. And I love kind of like um, adding, layering those um, long kimonos, long caftans or abayas over those dresses because it adds like extra coverage for the parts that you don't necessarily want to, you know, to be too visible. And you're still very like looking chic and elegant at the same time so this is also a tip because sometimes you know we're not comfortable wearing bodycon dresses like this or dresses that really you know cling to your skin that much so this is also a tip if you are looking for ways to wear such dresses and not feeling that exposed okay next up we have another kind of kimono as well made in japan oh you bet your boot i'm going to keep this are you kidding me i used to wear this all the time to church to the grocery store everywhere so i'm definitely going to remind myself to wear this again and this is like a cardigan uh, this is like a cardigan kimono situation which i bought years ago from boohoo and i have a few of them that i think i have the black version um i like that kind of like khaki green like the army green color and this is very flattering as well in other tip you know you're not comfortable with your midsection so this kind of like covers a little bit you don't have to wear like a scarf or kind of like manipulate your things too much and this with some camo sis you have killed the game with some boots some combat boots this is so so good i've had it for i don't know with some doc martens i've had this for i'm trying to think i've had it for i don't know nine ten years so you can elevate it you can definitely elevate this almost like a trench coat jacket it really plays a lot of different functions so this is a pair of doc martens and i love it plaid isn't that gorgeous i've had it for i don't know seven years or whatnot so love love this so just to give you an example of how you can really elevate your look you know it could look like a simple piece but sis it's all about the accessories and I think this is what makes my look so interesting. A lot of uses have told me like, your look is so different, it's so interesting. It's because I mix so many different accessories that people may not even think will go together or people are kind of like intimidated to try, but I still try and I don't just wear it to look different. It's because I actually like it. I love that. And um, this is very fun, very fun. With some jeans, with a, maxi denim skirt game over done <laughs> so before we continue sis have you subscribed to my channel come on you have to pause right now subscribe go get yourself some water and whatnot we're here we're not going anywhere this is a fabulous piece fabulous love love this i don't know where i bought this from but it was probably a store online 
and I just love that kind of like satin kind of look very structured compared to the rest of my um, of my kimonos and since when I saw this dream shade look at that look at this color look at the mix the mix color here isn't that gorgeous and uh, I wore this on this channel oh my goodness four years ago I believe three and a half years ago when I first started the channel actually and uh, I wore a green knit dress like this which must be somewhere underneath it with some wedges it was like kind of spring summer time at the time of filming and I think just a couple of scarves to kind of elevate more this kimono and I just love the look so so good so definitely keeping this Oh, I look at it. Look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, one big tip that I haven't shared already in this video. You know, you can actually use a very nice elevated robe as a kimono. I have done that before. I have like a few robes that you see in a little bit that I wear outside as kimono and says yes. Nobody would think that you just stepped out of a bathroom, out of a shower, because you still look elevated. I think it started like down in the runways um, with some designers actually pushing you know, kimonos out in the runway. Elevate the piece, right? Because a kimono technically, a robe is technically like a kimono, in, even in the shape, in the style of it. This is how we actually seeing more like loungewear, more like um, pajama style even set that were appropriate for outside you know they were slightly marketing it um and then with the emergence of covid and uh, people getting used to staying their pjs all day because of the quarantine orders and whatnot so kind of like the idea is to be casual practical and this i twisted it says california dynasty and um, there is actually a button here. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love the paisley and how luxurious, you know, this kimono is. Isn't I wore this already here on this channel with um, a dress underneath it. I think a brown dress, something like that. So keeping this. Next up, we have another sheer number that I believe what was bought in my abaya duba style <laughs> dubai lady style kind of era when i was i was like i have none of it i need to have a few so this is by shein and i love this i love the delicate prints here like delicate flowers here and then clashing that with that geometrical shape and with the wide and bold sleeves i really like the mix of it and I'm going to keep this. This is very cute. Okay, now let's talk more about these pieces. Remember like the army grain boohoo piece I showed you? So when I saw this at the thrift store, reminding me so much of this, I'm like, this is so, you know, this is very flattering, very nice. And from Lula Row, this is size M, both at the same time. I believe a lot of the Lula Row um, resellers like you know dumped all of inventories there because there are so many pieces like maxi dresses tops cardigans and stuff like that you can find from Ludo at the grocery store it's insane and so um i loved you know the stripes the, the different squares it was very interesting i believe it still fits me now so i'm going to keep it and i'm going to remind myself to wear it because this is very, you can really elevate it like I kept saying with some jeans, with anything. So, as you can see, I source my stuff from a lot of places. And especially for those captains and abayas, like places like Zara don't have too many kimonos and options like that. Usually I buy them online or at the thrift store. I meant to say, oh, this is so dreamy. This is so dreamy, sis don't you love it this like golden accented look at that so luxurious oh. look at this you look like money 
you wear this you look like you have it like that <laughs> love this let me get closer so you can see the embroidery all the way down and also the sleeves even your movements have such allure you know can you pass me the salt can you pass me the <coughs> you know can you pass me the salt please sir it's like <laughs> ay, ay, ay. okay next up oh we have a jumpsuit which i bought from zara uh, maybe two years ago and this is a nice like velour jumpsuit and i bought it over the sale i believe yes over the sale so maybe for 10 or 15 dollars and you know how much i love like wide leg anything at this point and uh, when i saw this i'm like this is a very interesting jumpsuit um with like a an open back let me show you yes so this is like it has an open back and you wear this like this yes and it was i really wanted to try this on and i like the finished product so i'm going to remind myself to wear this often and if this is your first time here i strive to dress modestly my idea of modest because you know it's different for everybody i do not stay away i do not shy away from open backs cut out and stuff like that because i can always leer this is my thing so if i see open backs i see cutouts i'm like huh how can i add layers underneath it or over it and make it work for me and um, this here is so beautiful this is a very very nice piece i wore this here on this channel i wore like a gray or black bodysuit or shirt underneath it and i added a very nice structured um kind of snag silver blazer that i thrifted and i feel like the whole look was just like you know i was really snatched and uh, i wore my um, platform patent um, boots and with my very dramatic matrix like kind of sunglasses with it and i just love it i believe i wore like a big afro wig and there you go love this vibe <laughs> like a pair of overalls that i bought online i'm not sure which um, store it is it says new way woman woman fashion and uh, i was actually at the time looking for different um, types of um, overalls because i love overalls this is just a timeless piece right different kinds different cuts you can wear them snag you can wear them like kind of like a skinny jean situation you can wear them with wide leg you can wear them just straight with some flares uh with some flaring at the hem you can wear them very oversized like hip-hop kind of things you can wear them you know also this way and i believe this is i think it was like a muslim a muslim online store targeted mostly to muslim women and when i saw this kind of like skirt looking jumpsuit i'm like how original because almost looks like you're wearing like a long skirt a wrap skirt or something but it is actually a pair of overalls and i bought it i think i bought a different color i'm not sure but we'll get there okay this is a shein 
Oh, this one looks kind of. I don't know. I don't. I don't like the material. Do you see what I mean? This got no flow to it. Look at that. It's just there. It's just standing. Actually, the material feels very cheap. No wonder. I don't think I ever wore this, so it's got to go. This is not really giving. It's not giving. It's not giving quality, and you can tell because of the flow of the piece of the fabric the movement it's not really giving what I usually expect so it's gone next up we have like a caftan kimono this was made in Thailand I thrifted it a few years ago and I just love this you know mix of purple and uh, there's some teal there's some uh, lilac I just like that so I'm going to keep this and remind myself to wear this next up we have this very nice flowing sheer um, kimono captain thing this next up we have this um, I'm not sure where I bought it maybe an online store I'm not sure but it's got some hooks here that you can close but I'm not really feeling that peach color you see what I mean? I'm not really feeling it. I like the lace. I like the mix of the peach and the lace and the black accent, but it's not really me. So I'm going to give it, my mom will probably like it. So this one, I'm not keeping. It can go. And I hope that this series is giving you also the boost you need to go to your own closet, sis. <laughs> And this here, oh, did I wear this on this channel? I'm trying to, oh, I wore this on this channel, yes. I wore this with a long jersey dress that was like a bluish tint. No, it was just a bluish, not the tint. It was a bluish color, bluish color dress with um, some prints in it. Maybe some flower prints, I don't remember. But this is the captain long tunic that I wore over it. Isn't it so cute? And this was actually from Boohoo like six or seven years ago. And I just love all of the eggplant maroon color. And uh, that burgundy is very cute. And actually, talking about the spring trends, this burgundy maroon color is very trendy these days. We see it everywhere on the runways. And you can literally wear so many different things with it. For me, it means that to have more of the same kind of color pieces available and definitely you can play with it. Gorgeous. I love this color and it's so funny when people say that, you know, something is trendy because we wear all colors around here. <laughs> we don't wait for the trends, but it just means that you see a prominence of this color every word that's what it means so yeah i am definitely going to keep this Oop, i'll put up the rest of the stuff later we have this love 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 i love also like the chartreuse colors and the toned down colors like this this is beautiful i love me some nice mint green and um Mint chocolate, chip. <laughs> mint chocolate chip is like my favorite ice cream um, flavor and I don't eat anything else literally I do not I, I tell my kids I don't define my mouth with any other flavor it is crazy but for the past I don't know 15 years that's all I've been eating <laughs> so when I see like the that cool kind of mint green color it just warms my heart and look how beautiful it is and indeed I wore this for like a lookbook on this channel and with a scarf as well and I wore a pair of um, nine west stilettos that look just like that with that same color and I think it was just so gorgeous so beautiful I mean <laughs> I 
already said this last year or two years ago in Miami and this is such a nice piece I believe this is fast fashion but I don't see the brand but seriously I just love the drama with all of the different colors and the print and I wore this with I wore this with something anyways I'm going to put the, <laughs> the pictures and the shorts so you can have an idea but I love those like short dresses like this they're so versatile you can wear them open or back on down you can add some jeans underneath it you can belt it anything so this is very very nice and I love also this color shape kind of like slit on the side gorgeous yes 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 this i believe i thrifted as well size 2xl and uh, isn't that gorgeous just look at the color to be to begin with this with some wide leg red pants underneath it sis come on now this is super long i am like i think this is for somebody who is even taller but fear not i love to wear very long pieces like this with my platform boots platform mules to kind of give me you know more elevation <laughs> and uh, this is gorgeous it's like a long dress and um, i added this um pen this brooch um rosette and i actually bought this a long time ago now seeing that rosette is all the rage this is crazy i've had it for six seven years it goes to show you fashion is cyclical so a little bit about that oh i used to wear this all the time i'm not sure if i ever wore this on this channel but this is so cute not sure where i bought this from but sis i'm keeping this do you see the flow yes that's what i'm talking about cool next up hopefully we're gonna get we're gonna finish this we should right technically <laughs> hopefully we will this is a nice like jersey fabric high dye um sleeveless cardigan that i bought years ago and this is so cool i believe i wore this and i belted it this is so so interesting i'm going to keep it i love easy pieces like this you just throw on and you're good oh this i was still in that era now am i still in love with that that's your question uh, 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 uh. I like the embroidery. I feel like something is not really giving. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like the shape. You see what I mean? I feel like the shape is coming like this, which is not something too flattering in my opinion. Or you can add like a you know what i'm not going to talk myself into it i don't think i'm going to reach out for it so it's gotta go it's gotta go i don't think i'm going to wear this next up what do we have here oh i thrifted it recently this is by oscar de la renta size xl and this is going nowhere <laughs> So this is the type of um, jersey dresses I was talking to you about. Apparently, this black version here has been hiding. And I used to wear this all the time. I mean, you can even see some fraying. Like, not only is it black, so it kind of like, you know, it's very flattering. And But I feel like it's worn out. I wore this so much. No wonder I did not miss it. <laughs> and that's the thing also. Those are perfect for pregnancy bellies I used to wear them all the time because you know you're wearing your belly so proud and you know the roundness of it and then you add like a caftan over it and you step out in the store like this they're like you look so cute with your belly I'm like thank you I just loved it when I was pregnant and I used to joke with my friends that <laughs> pregnancy time is like the only time I don't have to worry about shapewear or sucking in my stomach <laughs> I felt like it was such a nice break <laughs> you 
you know we we sit here we talk about real life let's be honest let us be honest and i went through it five times and <laughs> oh my gosh oh so this is another version of the um overalls the blue overalls that i um i bought that i showed you so this is actually heavy i like the quality of this now the black version is very light i'm not too sure about it maybe my mom will enjoy it because it's very you know i feel like she's gonna see it like it she's going to like it i don't think she has any overall so i'm trying to get her out of her comfort zone <laughs> fashion wise <laughs> okay oh i actually did that already da, da, da. honestly now i think about this one i could actually wear this in my bedroom i feel like it's so light and cute i want to wear it upstairs in my bedroom when I'm trying to get my coffee and my tea and, uh, you know, get ready for the day in the morning. So that's cute. I'll put it upstairs. Because you may get lost over here. Oh, I did all that, didn't I? Uh, da, da, da. Okay, here. Oh, this is a thrifted piece. And uh, I don't think it fits me. I think last time it was kind of like... A bit tight but I could still manage it and uh, let's see how it fits like now I just love the Asian flair it's like a top oh it fits me you see do you see the style of this yes oh it's got some pockets as well and yes I can button it down love this with some wide leg black trousers have you subscribed to my channel yet sis this is technically like a mini dress because it almost gets it gets above my knees but like i said because i wear longer things so with a black flowy pair of trousers beautiful beautiful and the brand is um julie francis size 10 uh, made in korea that's why i love thrifting vintage sis because those are one of a kind piece so unique so versatile and for us people who like to step out of a box this is where you find the gem sits with a belt a black belt a tiny red belt said i love to thrift like sheer um shirt dresses like this for multiple reasons i actually have a white one that i wore on this channel recently and i wore this with some balloons that uh, pants jeans um with like a thrifted denim vest and i wore this so kind of like take inspiration from that style and how you can also use it this is a perfect like swimsuit cover up for example you're going by the swimming pool you're going to the beach you kind of want to cover up this is perfect i love this you can definitely elevate it or also dress it down and with your sandals with some ballet flat with some tennis shoes you look still cute so yeah definitely keeping this this one ooh, lace you know how lace is all the rage now don't you sis and this is gorgeous it's a sheer number um thrifted the brand is season braver style don't you like it i love how it gives me like very black tie kind of like um lapel and then you go down it's almost like it's a fun business like i don't know it, it's very chic but does it fit me now because i'll keep it if it fits me i love to elevate like um black looks like this you know and uh, wearing also black monochromatic looks means wearing um black pieces that have different textures and different you know elements to it what do you think 
what do you think sis it's got the slit here on the side and i think i'm going to keep this i'm going to try this on in front of a mirror later but isn't that an interesting look i will wear like a black bodysuit underneath it um fitted and like usually like the sleeveless kind or you can wear like a um or you can wear a short sleeve black shirt or bodysuit on it underneath it you can also wear like a fitted dress underneath it and it doesn't have to be black you can color clash why not so um this is cool from what i see it fits but now i'm going to try this in front of a mirror to make sure that it's something i would actually wear right because we're not trying to keep stuff that we will never wear okay oh how long do we have Woo! hold on sis but i know you enjoy the long videos come on now be honest <laughs> oh this is the gen z address that i was talking to you recently about where somebody really dumped their denim what was it okay yeah someone actually dumped a lot of their denim dresses at the thrift store and i was there to scoop this up and i believe yeah so you see how those two are the same size very like um little house on the prairie but like you know me i like to elevate my my looks and i bought all three i believe so this is actually very cute because like i said i can add a blazer i can add like those cute cardigans with the flats here and look really cute and elevated so now for these i feel like i need to try on those two and see if I'm going to keep them both, I need to try this on. But I will wear like even like vest over it to kind of like cinch it a little bit more. This is triple XL. You can add the belt and whatnot. Yes, yes. So this is an example of thrifting also in the men's section at the thrift store because it says here men's wear, and I believe men don't wear kimonos like that, right? In our Western world, so this is a robe for men yes but look how gorgeous it is and i bought it it was like a one dollar day i believe at that at the thrift store it wasn't goodwill and i was like are you kidding me for a dollar i love me some good maroon and brown and burgundy i am getting this and i love the paisley look at the flow look at it <laughs> and i wore this on this channel before um yeah twice actually with those um zara jogger pants actually and uh, with another look with a dress i believe i'll try to find the pictures and insert it here for you and uh, you can wear this open or belted so another tip is also shop in the men's section at the thrift store <music> everywhere you no know, pieces get misplaced and you can also find interesting pieces to mix and match your things so this is why i shop everywhere at the store next up whoo, i actually thrifted this recently i don't need to tell you again about my love for those um calfin tunics whatnot this is gorgeous i see myself wearing this with some wide leg pants again <gasps> yes and loving this next up we have this uh, sleepwear situation here and i just love how cute it is i'm going to keep it down here next up oh okay i haven't seen you in a while banana republic long satiny dress and size l i kind of doubt it fits me too good right now so this is something maybe my mom can try but i am going to try this on later and also ask her if she wants it next up we have uh, this long bodycon dress which i actually wore here on this channel and uh, i like it i like it this is not the kind of dresses that i gravitate towards but with you know the 
the stripes really got to me the bold color and uh, I don't see the brand and the thing is I wore this on this channel but I also added like a French belt which I probably bought from Shein uh, maybe five or six years ago and I just loved you know the kind of coverage it gives me because I don't really like to expose my derriere <laughs> my bottom you know I, you know I like to keep covered so I feel like it gave me that coverage while adding a very interesting element to the look as well and the fringes belt is so cool I think I have it here hold on and I oh you know what you do you see how the Western trend has you know is everywhere these days this is such a nice piece also to um, play with that trend because of course when we talk about fringes and cowboy boots and uh, western and hats this definitely come into into play when you actually wear this the part that is gappy like this you put it on the side you see you put that side you put that side on the side and there you go <laughs> so this is very like festival kind of things and a lot of retailers like are really catering to the festival going crowds right now there's a lot of concert it's about to be summer and uh there's a lot of like western trends and fringes isn't this such a cute addition to your wardrobe you know um so this is what i was wearing with that and like you know i'm always looking for the different interesting pieces out there so i have this belt i also have this kind of like full leather skirt belt as well yep 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 let me see so this i bought from a boutique online but you can see it everywhere even amazon has it for definitely do you see how asymmetrical it looks then can actually wear this over your dress or your jeans whatever you wish and there you go it cinches you in it's like a corset kind of belt <laughs> I love it so do you see how I love different things and then I add it to my outfit and you know this is just different right so i wore this with um, a lookbook i did here on this channel um a while back years ago with um, my long black dress with the poofy mesh sleeves or organza sleeves i believe and i wore this over like i said I'm, i know i like to kind of cover this side um so i felt like it was perfect you know it added such a very quirky and fashion touch to the outfit and I also wore this belt over my um Ankara outfit that I wore one day um yeah so it goes with anything with some jeans it's very versatile so that's why I just shop just in specific stores I like to see what different things accessories are out there it's all about the accessories sis let me tell you this is thrifted and yes i'm going to keep this yes 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 and i need to wash this and then i'll wear this next up oh beautiful beautiful i don't even have to say anything sis you know me do you see the front do you see the house the mountain the birds Come on now, do you see the floor? Do you see that? Enough said. <laughs> Next up, what? I never wore this? Really? This is such a nice... Huh. I love the shape of it. Look at that. Oh, I think I like it. I like it. I just need to make sure that I see it and I'll come and add it to my outfit. And this is by Lulero as well. I like the geometric shape also. 
We've got the print and the different um, accents and mix of um, silver and gold together. And I wore this with my uh, jumpsuit. And I liked how both pieces are kind of like different, but the thing, I know the whole look came together, I believe, to add like a, a layer over it. So this is what I wore and I'm going to keep this. What do we have next? Huh, I put two things in, okay, on one hanger. So, oh, this is actually shorter. The brand is August Silk Intimate. I believe this is twisted. And I like how short it is, you know, because sometimes you just want to wear something like an oversized, um, very flowy like shirt, and you can add a skirt or anything over it. So I think this I'm definitely going to keep. Now let's look at this one. Almost there almost there okay this is time and true walmart hmm, interesting i like the cutout you know you can see some of them are mesh and but i don't think so i don't think so i don't think so okay next up we have this men's wear again just like doo -doo 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 -doo. We had a men's wear recently here, didn't we? Okay, just like this one. <laughs> when you love something, you love something in that sense. Both of them are staying. Okay. What do we have next? Oh. Do you see what I see, kids? Do you see what I see? Christian Dior, robe de chambre. This is a robe. Paris, one size, New York. You can see his logo here, Dior. Let me tell, do you think I'm going to get rid of it? Do you? I'm sure you didn't, and you're right, I'm not getting rid of this. Christian Dior, come on now. The robe, tell me. I wore this outside any day. So, it's saying, oh, animal prints. If there was not an animal print in this section, I would have been amazed. I love animal prints. And this is definitely staying. This is Fredericks of Hollywood, twisted. And yes, I just love the lace also. Um, yes, yeah, staying. Next up, another animal print. Um, item delicate is a brand and I like how wide it is with how short it is you know certain looks I like it also short it depends on the silhouette I would like to create and this is nine west remember in all of those um, cardigans we saw with the flaps here well this is by nine west I printed it the burgundy all this stuff we're talking about monochromatic look right here it says a monochromatic look and you are dressed you are elegant i love me a good monochromatic look because you can play you can look so cute and elegant with that and that's the secret also is to add different textures do you see how satiny this looks and you see how ribbed also the dress is so this is it screams luxury it screams style and sophistication honestly so this is size s ah, i don't know if it's going to fit me around the chest and the arms so i'm going to try this on it's got pocket huh, another kind of like um a baya tunic so this is made out of like a jersey fabric so it's got a different feel to it I like how flowy it is. Of course, the prints, you know me by now, says me and prints. And um, I think I can keep it. Size L. Yes, I like that. Next up, we have this kimono, definitely in um, Mandarin. And I'm not sure what it says. <laughs> I am not sure. Um, 
I bought it when I was still working outside. I was like, that was six, seven years ago. And then my coworker, I think I came to work with it. And she's like, I don't think that's wise, Doris, to wear things and you're not sure what it says. And I'm like, ooh, do you think it says something bad? She's like, I don't know, but you want to be sure. So if any of you sis can read it, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I haven't really worn it in a while. So I don't know. I feel like until I know what it says, <laughs> I'll kind of put it on the back burner for now. For now. Um, ooh, yes. This actually altered. I believe it was too small when I bought it. But this is vintage. And this is such a cute kind of like blouse. Um, duster kind of tunic. Ooh, let me see if it still fits. That was like years ago back in oh no that was still in florida actually but i got it altered a few years back oh it still fits it still fits this how, how fabulous is this do you see the shape in the back how flowy almost like a flowy skirt it came with like a belt I'm not sure where it is, but just think about it. Yes, it's not going anywhere. Oh my gosh, this with a pencil skirt, sis. Really being feminine. With some cute slingbacks. Sis, you'll be killing the game. Killing it, yes. Almost there, sis, almost there. This was thrifted. I feel of the fabric already. Do you see how it kind of like gets stuck together and then it makes that noise no 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 there we go next step oh we have another huh oh this is heavy my lord um i probably thrifted this it says size l xl and it's got some nice bat wings oh i bought it online um i think the website was riva r-i-v-a i used to shop there like five years ago or so and this is like a full leather ending here at the sleeves and this is very cute i like the kind of like um paw print do you see it oh yeah this is okay so this is full leather the the um, pockets are full leather and also part of it oh this is very majestic all black okay keeping this one next up we have another black version of the um, burgundy version here yes same and i'm going to keep it this is very like casual you wear your jeans you're heading out you're going to work you can wear this and especially in most office environments the ace is blasting so you'll be definitely good you don't need to add like a scarf or a cardigan you still look good and you can wear this all day and this is the black version of um remember those kind of um top and i'm going to keep this now what do we have here this is cute thrifted and you know what i'm good i am good and go next up we have this oh i actually like buying stuff like that because this is by um i think someone in bali oh bali made in indonesia not only do you see you see the culture i don't have to say anything this is like a shorter one like i said you go into the beach the swimming pool you are just on vacation you're just going out it's um you can really elevate this sis with a bag and you if you are not too tall this can be definitely a dress for you beautiful with some cute slides some mules there you go so i'm definitely keeping this because for me i wear some pants underneath this i can wear a skirt and i'm good to go now let's look at those two numbers together and those two were thrifted <laughs> do you see how the trimming of this piece is literally um, the front of that one and then the trimmings of this piece is also the solid color this is vintage gold coast always in style 
I add a blazer over it and I'm dressed up. I add a cardigan, I had I add a layer and I'm out the door. So I love pieces like this with some jeans, very cute. And then we also have this printed piece, Aria size M. Cute. Keeping this, no questions about it. Next up. Oh, I actually wore this kind of recently. We went to the zoo um, with a family and I wore this over like a flowy satin dress that I wore as a skirt. And I put this over it and I just love this vibe. So, so cute. So definitely keeping this. Next up, we have this um, robe, Vendemir. This is literally a robe. But I feel like for this one, I kind of want to wear it in my own home. And this, I wore in one of my um, videos, you know already. You see it, you see, I see one of my uncles and over here we mix and match men's wear and women wear, so it's staying. <laughs> um, next up, another animal print number and secret treasure i thrifted this animal print and i've said keeping this <laughs> and this actually wore recently i thrifted it and i wore this this is thrifted cute next up something i never wore really huh miss fashion thrifted okay i actually like it i like the flow of it and i'm going to wear this i just need to remind myself to come check over here oh and this is a sequin shirt that shouldn't be here <laughs> eventually we're gonna do the shirts eventually eventually so oh actually we are done yes we done sis <laughs> okay sis i really hope that you have enjoyed this video and uh, you have enjoyed you know singing how you can also um, mix and match your own pieces how you can accessorize it this is my jam i love styling as much as i love shopping i love styling and wear something like multiple ways so i hope that you consider subscribing to my channel like this video let me know down in the comments what you thought about the styling and which one was your favorite styling or piece altogether share my videos and i will see you soon there is a zara haul coming soon and it's going to be epic because it's going to be a lot of items from my unpublished sales items that i have never <laughs> filmed <laughs> and then with my new one zara items as well so i got some good stuff you don't want to miss out see you soon stay blessed bye, -bye.